All right, hey guys, we're still in town. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Lumberman. He was the first one to correctly guess what was in the box. Uh, I had a lot of people guessing uh, solar, solar power, solar panels, solar everything, but Lumberman got it right. And what was it? There it is, the Alaska Chainsaw Mill, the Grandsburg. Uh, I haven't even unboxed it yet, so we'll do an um, we'll put it together and put it to use once we get back out to the island. But first things first, I bought some some metal, and I got a trailer. Let me get it out of the dark. All right, so this is the old trailer. This is not straight anymore. This has totally come apart. The red rails that was on the side. I'll put a picture of what a brand new one looks like. They completely just flopped over. So it's got one, two, three, four, four holes in the in the bottom on this uh, wire mesh. We've had this thing. So we've had this thing two years, and I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it really helped out. And so for the money, this Utrex trailer is an okay buy, but. Just keep in mind that it's made out of 1 16th inch metal and it's not going to last. Unless you're on a flat surface hauling light material, it's not going to last very long. So I would consider this Utrex trailer a light, light duty trailer. Uh, and so what we just built over the last four days is a little more uh, robust. I got a little... A little low, uh, let's put it this way, I got a little under $500 in this trailer with probably 45 to 50 man hours in it. Uh, so yeah, let's get this thing going. All right, so we got the wheels pulled off of this thing. I'm going to utilize as much of this uh, old trailer to uh, keep costs down. So I'm going to use this, a lot of the underside, and even some of this, uh, some of the, the cage itself. So... Uh, that's my thought process because I don't want to be spending, you know, several, several hundred bucks on this. Maybe just a couple hundred to work. So let's see what we can make out of this thing. And I brought my BFH. All right, so we got those, uh, the, the axle broke free here. Then I welded this together, so I'm cracking that weld open. Yeah. It's coming along. All right, so we got the, uh, the axle and the tongue separated from the body. There we go, we've got the base of the trailer right there. Well, there we go, there's the box. Hey guys, uh, I got a new hat. Uh, I couldn't find my old welding hat, so I broke down. I found this this uh, this hat at the store, and it said Alaska on it. And I said, I'm going to buy that thing, and voila, here we go. So anyways, this is the first time I've ever welded this, uh, this like, expanded metal stuff before. So um, hopefully I don't burn through it. It's it's the same thickness as, as what I'm using uh, with the angle iron and whatnot. So it should should turn out just fine. Anyways, let's get started. Let's do this thing. All right, now we just got a thousand more things that needs to do. So, all right, so you, I got the uh, the expanded metal on there. Now, um, looking at how we're going to get the 
the axle and these cross braces welded up there so uh, slowly but surely we're making progress there you go I got the uh, bottom and the one side welded on tomorrow the other side and the front and back and hopefully let's prep this thing for paint all right guys this is day three Hopefully we can wrap this thing up today and then prep it and we'll paint either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. What I really need to do is to get a big enough generator so I can weld over there because that really makes all the differences. I mean, it's nice here because you got a semi-flat surface, but uh, it'd be nice not to have to carry stuff back and forth every time I need to do some welding. So anyways, let's get started on this thing. Let's finish this up today and booyah, it's going to be great. Alright, so this is day four, the final day. So all we have left to do now is, is I'm going to uh, weld a piece on this tube to, to seal them up, to seal all three of these up. And then we've got to sand this thing down real good and uh, paint it. Well, we're going to rhino line it. I'll add up the cost. I think this, this uh, wire mesh is eighth inch and I think this is a, as this is more in material. This was 200 bucks for, I got this uh, 31 by 60 sheet and then a, a 60 by 10 inch sheet, two of those, and then two 31 by 10 inch sheets. That was 200 bucks just for this, um, this wire mesh, this perforated steel, whatever you want to call it, spread, spread sheet metal. Um, and then everything else was fairly cheap. So All right, so this is what we're welding on, covering up these little uh, holes because I didn't want water, salt water to get in there and just start rusting from the inside. So we're going to weld all this up and then that'll seal it up pretty good. All right, I got to finish this, this one and then five more. So this is the last day. All I have left, and the only thing we we took from the original trailer was the wheel and axle. That thing seemed to be doing pretty good still, so we kept that. I got a brand new solid one-piece tongue. That Utrex has a tongue, and it's built in three different stages. It also had a uh, a tilt bed latch to it. That tilt bed broke within the first month, and the three stages became loose and the holes were hollowed out so it had a lot of a lot of slop or a lot of free play in it within the first three months and so two years later that thing has reached its last uh trail and so here's our new one so what i got here is five foot of square tubing at eighth inch thick the whole trailer is made out of eighth inch angle iron eighth inch square tubing eighth inch eighth inch uh, wire mesh and then we rhino line the whole thing the only thing I haven't rhino line yet is the bottom of these things because now I'm gonna bolt and weld on this tongue to the trailer and that should that should alleviate uh, the last little bit of it and then I've got some some spray rhino liner and we're gonna spray the whole thing on some of the little nooks and crannies that I couldn't reach with the brush and the roller and that's that's it so let's finish this project up and man get it back over to the island we've been here this is day five i think and and we rhino lined yesterday so we really had four days of three and a half days of build and the fourth day was pretty much just paint and uh so now we just gotta i've already had it all mocked up so today basically is just drilling out the holes so all the bolts fit again and then welding this to the cart itself and then doing one more coat of rhino liner with the spray he got the axle mounted to the body but after i got this done and i'm you know i'm building this on the fly kind of i realized that i probably have four foot of tongue sticking out so i'm going to add this little I'm going to add this little piece right here, that way I only have 
I don't know, two feet sticking out. I think that would be a much better design. I'm no engineer. That's what my son's going to college for. Phoenix, hurry up and graduate so you can help me design stuff like this. So I think we're going to add this. And then I'm welding this and this to attach the tongue to the trailer so it's not a tilt bed. And then uh, I'm going to do one more paint on it. And that should wrap it up. Put some wheels on it. It should roll. Guys, that's it. We are finny. Uh, it took a little longer than I was expecting for it to take, but you know, it was from scratch, and all I did was drew some stuff on some paper, so a lot of it was trial and error. But uh, four days, probably about 450 bucks, and about uh, I worked about 10 hours a day on it, so that was 40 hours. But uh, like I said, something something like this is going for at least a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, you know, online at the cheapest. So not uh, not too bad so hopefully this thing will last us years yeah so thanks for uh... all right so thank you guys for watching and coming for us on this adventure uh... leave a comment down below i already told you that we got the grand's first grand's first books all right guys thanks for watching uh... Leave us a comment, tell us what you think, and uh, thank you. <sighs> Back it up. Hello, hi Gunner. All right guys, quiet on set. <laughs> Let's, this is the last Wait a minute, cut, because I'd say all right, so it's way too much. This, uh, I don't know, I'm tired. Man, I cannot think today. <laughs>